Hello students and parents, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to explain you an important chapter of biology that is structure of leaf. Leaf is the most important part of a green plant. It is a flattened green colored structure attached to the stem. Leaf is responsible for the two most important functions of a green plant that is photosynthesis and transpiration. Now let's see what are the main parts of a leaf. There are two types of leaves, simple leaf and compound leaf. Simple leaves are those whose blade is not divided to the midrib. For compound leaf, the leaf blade is completely divided forming leaflets. Here I am showing some examples of simple leaf. Now I am showing some examples of compound leaf. Now let's discuss the main functions of a leaf. Photosynthesis Green plants have the ability to make their own food. They do this through a process called photosynthesis which uses a green pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is located in a plant's chloroplasts which are tiny structures in a plant cell. This is where photosynthesis takes place. Chlorophyll gives the plant green color. Chlorophyll's job in a plant is to absorb light, usually sunlight. The energy absorbed from light is transferred to two kinds of energy storing molecules. Through photosynthesis, the plant uses the stored energy to convert carbon dioxide absorbed from the air and water into glucose, a type of sugar. The process of photosynthesis produces oxygen which is released by the plant into the air. This like green plants provides oxygen into the atmosphere. Green plants store their excess food in the form of starch in various parts of their body. Starch is a polysaccharide of glucose. This stored food becomes fruits and vegetables and the food for animal planet. Transpiration This is the process of water movement through a plant and its evaporation through leaves, stems and flowers. Yes, water is necessary for the plants. They absorb water from the soil through their roots. But they use a small amount of water for their own use. The excess water they evaporates through stomata into the air. There are small openings on the lower surface of the leaves. These pores are called stomata. These openings are surrounded by guard cells. The exchange of gases that is carbon dioxide and oxygen during photosynthesis occurs through stomata. Stomata also helps in the transpiration of water that is the loss of excess water from the plant. Plant release their excess water through stomata into the air which is highly helpful for our environment. Do you know why cactus leaves are converted into spines? We all know that there is a shortage of water in desert. So cactus leaves are converted into spine like shapes to prevent excess water loss through stomata into the air. So I hope my today's video will become helpful for you. Stay tuned to my channel to get more and more dislike amazing science tutorial videos for you. Bye. Bye.